trading just in a bu- couple of Honda Accords, the Mercedes C-Class, and the BMW 3 Class. Mm-hmm. Let's call it Blue Mars. I don't even see it around it very often. Big transaction, can you help us out? Make this happen, yeah, we need to make this money. There's no end, I can't even. A bunch of pictures of it. Yeah, two, two kids. Watch too. You got all the presses there. I'm gonna try to have one or two artists that one of the artists are friends. This is champagne down here. Get the ruby, dog. Literally, I'm fucking ruby. I'm gonna fuck you. No, whatever, man. I'm gonna fuck you. You got me. Where's Jimmy? Jimmy's not here. Got it, see. The success of us, see, bro. That one's hard, though. Like new, 2021. Let me make a phone call. It's a, look at how Daytona's have always done. Look how Samaritan's have always done. Since the Paul Newman. Remember I sold it in the episode? The guy felt bad, so he gave it back to me and he took another piece. So. So you have Samaritan's do very well. Uh, the Black Daytona or the... Or the um, I think either or. The white obviously is more in demand, but I think either or, you're good. They're just classic timepieces with prestige. Um, like a lot of a lot of history behind them. There's some Mariners and they told them the so, and stainless steel sports watches. I think that they have a lineage behind them and I don't see why those watches will ever go down in price. So I'll give you a list of a couple of things you want to get me. Yeah, let's, let's take a seat here and we'll look. I have 40 different watches. Nice. All kinds of watches. Panorama. What's your favorite? What's your favorite watch that you own at this moment? Right here. Let me see. It's not about the price always. When you have that many watches, it's not about the price. What's your favorite watch? This, the Kermit, nice piece. Let me see this panorama. There's a blue dial on it. We gotta get you a CRM watch roll. Six, four or five months ago, six months ago. And uh, I've only worn it a couple of times. But I have another pan array. I have all kinds of watches. What's, what are you wearing? It's only a $500 watch, but it's a great gym watch. If you want to run around and not get it dinged up, it's just a really simple $500 watch. But this is a Pam 2020. <laughs> Quartz. Quartz movement. Yeah. Omega Aquaterra with a green dial. This Let me a, tell you, this is a lot of watch for the money though. I because it so looks great very movement. similar yeah. to the green Patek. This, the, see the dial, how nice the color of the dial. This is called a blue, this is called a blue Mars. And uh, it's, it's, I don't, I don't even see it around it very often. Have you got the movement checked out after that? No, 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 it's fine. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. It runs good? Oh yeah. These are my watches that I, you know, different ones that I wear, I just, you know. One of five. Here's my car to say it, so Beautiful. that way, when I start flying private. Where's the cost like a flight here to Vegas on like a 10,000 10, 10, an hour? 10,000 an hour? Yeah. You know the money people have. The money people have is sick. You, are you part of passing drinking water? I have to, I'm here to take care of him. That's my mission. I appreciate you so much. Yo, you gotta try with Cuban coffee. This is yes, no. you do. I, 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 wait, wait, wait. We're gonna go get some Cuban coffee right now. So listen, I really, I don't have a Daytona. So you gotta help me find one where you make money too, but get me something good. And you know, I don't know what's gonna happen with the watch prices, but Daytona's a solid forever. I'm gonna tell you my opinion. It's an opinion. It could be wrong. I have faith in it. If not, we wouldn't have all the watches we have in here. Our bank account has minimal money at all times just right. to cover bills and yeah. paychecks and everything else is in watches this is something that they're produced in very small amounts and you have a 
very quickly expanding like wealth population growing. You have money or you're losing money, especially during the pandemic. And people are getting away from them. So people are investing in NFTs, like you see our NFT displays, which like people are like, oh, it doesn't make sense. It's a picture on the screen. Well, the Mona Lisa's oil on paper, but what makes the Mona Lisa so special? And while yes, you can have a picture of the Mona Lisa, you don't have the original. Same thing with the NFTs. Same thing with the watches. You can wear a fake watch, but it's, it's not about the watch on your wrist. Black gold. Are you busy non-stop? Yeah. For like the last two weeks, I haven't eaten lunch here. Yeah. So you see that on yeah. top? That's like foam. And the foam is like made with sugar. So you get the sugar in a little metal like tin with a spoon. You pour a little coffee on it and just whip it. And it creates like this flurry. And then when you put coffee in it, it's why it's called espumita. Espumita. Which means like just little foam. You, how's your, uh, the shows, your IG, the IGG, whatever that shows? The you? IWJG shows? Is it fun? To buy, to sell, it's all right. You like really gotta like nitpick and then we use it more to correct our market because a lot of times dealers are selling to us more expensive than we're selling to clients. Most of the time it's to correct the market, like for us to correct our, our asking prices. Rolexes, put tax, APs, Richard Mills, they're all really cool watches. But then when you go to these shows, you see like these weird off-brand Bove and things like you've never and like and like really funky movements or dial colors and it's things that I don't see and that's why I love these yeah. shows. It literally sparks up the inner kid in me like a toy store. I'm like, oh wow, look at this, this is cool, this is cool, and that's what they I like. Meet people. All right, cheers. Cheers, guys. Thanks for the coffee. Oh, that's, that's really good. Good, huh? Awesome, yeah. Big Willie, how you doing, buddy? Big Will. They hacked him and he stole his page. Now he has really? to make another one. Yeah. Oh my God. Mm. I told him I gotta get him out of tactical pants and put him on like a fly suit. <laughs> this is a Pam 2020. But what does it say something? Panarista. Pan? It was designed by uh, Panerai uh, wearers. The people that use the watch, wear the watches, are the ones that design these. It's a rare one. You know, it's very hard to find that one now because they're all sold out. But very nice. I just love. I just love watches. I just love different Look at this. watches. I'm not too big into Panerais, but I very much do appreciate them. Yeah, they're nice watches. My man Rico, right there, the man. The man in the myth to a new home. Gone, baby. And see, I am, brother. Hey, I told him I was like, I, you know what I had to show him though? He was like, he said, I want a real job. I have a couple of issues here, but now they respect me, you know? You have to. You gotta earn your respect. I tell you what, man, it is such a pleasure to come see you because. After the last two years, I get on all, every night before I go to bed, 45 minutes or so, I get on different, I watch Anthony, oh yeah. And I and I have been to Miami hundreds of times, but today we were on Marathon, I said, man, we just gotta make a little time because I'm so busy. I work seven days a week and I'm so busy. I never have time, so I said, oh, I gotta make you, you time. You made your time, good. Thank, thank you for making your time. Oh, thank you for coming. Oh yeah. And thank you and for showing you me up. Up. It means a lot to me. Thank you for coming, guys. <laughs> have a little guys. I don't like that this lifts up here in the corners and I can, can get caught on stuff. The other thing is kind of like it to be like se almost like seamless, like when you close these here, you're like. You see, it's the other thing that happens is when you're constantly bending this here, you get a crease and this cracks the leather. So I don't like that. 20 years ago, right? I used to buy my charms and my neck is from that guy right there. H&M, H&M, right or not, man? 20 years ago, he used to be my jeweler. Crazy, huh? True or not? <laughs> now he's buying from me. How crazy life is. The walls are high for Richard Mills, APs that are a little bit more bulky in case height. And they snap in so you can just take out the watch. And the other thing is too, is that you can use this as a mat. To go like this. The price is, even if there's a correction, 
they may go down 10% or so, and then it'll come right back up. Gotcha. So Daytona is one, Wimbledon's the other. What else do you recommend with Rolex? That Sky Dwellers? Oh, no. Sky Dwellers are an amazing watch. If you've seen our episode, you know that me and my dad don't really like them. It's not a bad watch. It's an amazing watch. People, some people love it. It's a preference thing. It's like either you hate it or you love it. The movement, amazing. The resale, amazing. In my opinion, it looks like an oversized date just. They're gonna, they're gonna crucify me on YouTube for that one. No, the 5711, will it always hold its value? They just discontinued them. Oh, so it's gonna go on. Like right now, Willie, in stainless 5711, cuando tan 150, oh man, 150. Okay, thank you for coming. Willie, shake it. From where? Indonesia. Oh, awesome. Well, I just graduated, so. From where? I got a little gift here. 9,932 grams. 218 grams. Oh, so it's for you. You're going pretty big, man. Yeah. I got a small one, I need a bigger one. <laughs> so, what happens now? You graduated, what happens now? I don't know, I'll fly for airlines. Oh, really? Hopefully, yeah. Oh, I'm on a flight instructor for a while, teach people how to fly, and then I'll get my ATP license and I can go to airlines. Nice, That's cool. yeah. really? I'm a pilot, yeah. Oh, so, so I'm gonna see you if I love to travel, so I see you one day. <laughs> I'll see you one day in the airport. So, when you're gonna open it, you just unlock this, and then you have to press it down mm -hmm. so it could come out. Uh, it's very tight. There you go. It's just that it doesn't fall, you know? You're very good, man. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, yeah, it's been two years I'm trying to come, but with the pandemic last year, we didn't come. Nice. Wait, wait, wait. Hotel, but I have a condo right here on uh, Grand Ferris on the 31st Street. Nice, okay, man. I love thank, it. Yeah, thank you for coming, man. No, no, my, my pleasure. pleasure call man. Man. Yeah, call it. I, mean, so I have a weekend brand. I do ladies' handbag, uh, shoes, jacket, everything weekend. Everything, nice. Hello, so brother, Dan. Hi, Dan. How are you, Manny Hello, here? Nice to meet you, brother. Hello, Manny. I'm from Montreal. Vegan handbags, shoes, uh, bells, you name it. We've been, like, we're the probably biggest vegan category wise, the biggest brand now. It's awesome. Excuse me one minute. Okay, leave it there, my brother. So, so what's happening with the watches? Everything is double the price since last year. It's just hyperinflation across asset classes. It's not just watches, it's everything. Everything, yeah, right? Eh? Everything is crazy. So not a good time to buy them. I mean, high can get higher, so... You know how it is, but people, a lot of people are waiting, oh, it's going to crash, it's going to crash, but... Whatever you want, I'll find for you. I'm the man, I could get it like this. Just give me one second, okay? Just tell me what model you want. Yeah, it's nice, thanks. Really, really expensive watches that I've been waiting for, okay? Straight from Patek Philippe. Fabric, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I thought it was watches that I was waiting, bro. It's just my <laughs> tailor sent me this. So I could pick up some fab fabrics <laughs> for my jackets. Sorry, guys. I thought it was a watches that I'm waiting for. Someday my prince will come, but if this ain't love, then I don't want it. I waste a lot of hours watching your videos on YouTube, so. It's not a waste when you're learning. <laughs> Do you enjoy them? Very much so, man. One to glad, bro. Please say hi. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Charlie, it's wrong for you. Nice to meet you, David. Nice to meet you, man. So our biggest issue here at CRM Jewelers is not getting content, it's recording this content. We just got a package. Package? Package, you wanna hold the camera package? Uh, you know I'm doing something, right? Huh? It's a watch. For my boy Fitz. Oh my God. This is what happens when you buy right at CRM. When you what? When you buy right at CRM. He bought this watch and made like 30 grand on it. What is he doing? Selling it back? Yeah. Oh. Okay. 
Hey, that's not the watch. Wrong watch. What do you mean wrong watch? It's not the watch. But so what? It's a nice watch. It's a nice watch, but it's not the watch I was expecting. Okay, but so what? It's a nice watch though, so it's not. Can you pretend you liked it? It no, it's a beautiful watch. I just I thought it was a different watch. Okay. So this is not for my client fits, and, and now I got to see whose watch is here opening this package on the floor. But we're currently remodeling this office, so we have no table here. Look at that's nice packaging. He said I'm making sure this thing don't get damaged at all. Boom. That's the one you were waiting for? This is the one I was waiting for, yeah. My client bought it and he made some good money on it now, so. Get the owner of the store. That is nice. There we go. You don't you don't get that many times, right? When you call the store and no, the you owner answers. Don't, you, you don't get CEOs, my man. To I'll, get a CEO on the phone says a lot about your store. Well, I'll tell you what. I am the employee here. The owner is probably my son. He's not here right now. <laughs> I'm oh, the Charlie, Charlie, Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. He <laughs> he went to the doctors right now, so I. I gotta juggle, man. I, you know, I gotta post pictures. I gotta check the inventory. I gotta answer the phone. I gotta record for the YouTube. I gotta do everything. I have Akani next to me here, trying to ask me a question for five minutes. It's, it's hectic, but I try to help everybody. What was your name, my man? My, my name is Adam, brother, man. Your mom thought she was gonna have a saint and she has a little devil. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, my man, that's great, my man. That is great. What? I got, I got a transportation company. So I know exactly what you mean when you gotta help everybody out, brother. You have to, man. I, 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 sometimes, you know, it's too many people and some people get mad because I didn't get to them fast enough, but I try to do my best. Adam, I'm gonna send you some pictures right now of the GMT. How would you think you'll be paying? Wire? Wire. A wire. Why? Another question I was gonna ask you, brother. I, li I like what you said about investment pieces. This, this, how much is this worth? I have a, I have a Rolex, uh, uh, I have a couple of date just, you know, 2008, 2012. What, what do you think is the best investment piece for like a $20,000, $25,000 budget right now? You say you have a few day I, I got two. I got two day jobs, 136 and 141. I think you should got to get rid of that 36 or give it to your girl. You have a girlfriend? Wife? Yeah, man. I don't, I don't use it much, bro. I don't use that one much. It's so why don't you consider trading in that 36 if you don't use it much? You okay. know. I'm not a fan of uh, day jobs, watches. I'm more fan of to the sports model. You know, I don't, you know, I, I ride it by like a GMT, like you said, that GMT 40 millimeter band, man, it's gotta get discontinued anytime soon because they're making the 41. So I don't see that watch for for production for many years, but I will definitely consider the GMT or Sumaner, or anything on the sports model, but not the day just. Yeah, no, no, yeah, that, that was the first piece. You gotta start somewhere, that's right. Well, if it's the first piece, and then you don't sell it. You keep it, you know? I, I have my first piece, and then that's the only piece that I don't sell, because it, it's kind of like a trophy for me, the best, the first watch that I got. But if it doesn't have sentimental value, then sell the both the day jobs. You can send me detailed pictures of what you have, and I'll tell you what I could give you for trading value towards that GMT, Batman. Got it, got it, okay. But the, the, the GMT Batman, I, I, think, I, think that'll, I think that'll sustain its value. I, I would think so too. Like I said, that's a 40 millimeter and the Rolex is not making any more 40s. They're making 41s. So I'm sure that they're going to discontinue the Batman anytime soon. Once that happens, then the price blows up, you know? Got it. All right, brother, send me some pictures. I'm eager to go on this thing. I want to pull the trigger right away, man. Definitely, I see you with a Batman, not with a girl's watch, man. Come on, brother. <laughs> but, but listen, let, let, me, let me make a statement here. A 36 is not a girl's watch. It's for some men that it has a small wrist. I definitely, you know, you know, I agree with it. I'm not, I don't like it personally, but my personal opinion is not the opinion that counts to the whole world. You know, it's just my opinion. I don't like 36 for myself, neither I like it for a regular, you know, regular build man. If you're a skinny dude and with a little wrist hand, 36 is fine. That's a little, that's a little, that's a little disclaimer. That's a little disclaimer. You got to put the fine letters on the bottom so I don't get, cru so I don't get crucified, you know, on my, on my pages. <laughs> you're just being honest. 
Well, some people try, you know, it's like, oh, Carlos, I hate that you say 36 is not for a man. I'm like, well, it could be for a little guy like me. <laughs> I'm a little guy, but I'm a little Cuban with thick legs and thick wrists, so <laughs> it doesn't apply for me. You're a little Cuban for, with a big heart, my man, is what I can tell. Thank you, my man. I really appreciate that. Send me pictures of your watch. And if you want to do a trading, I give you a ballpark and then you make that decision if you want to keep him or if you want to sell him. You got it, man. I appreciate it, Carlos. Thank you, my man. You got it, my man. He's trying to purchase a watch and he wants you to do the wire, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do it right now. Just send me the uh, wire info. I'll do it right now. You have it. But I need you to Ah, ah, okay. Oh, I, I need your sales certificate. I thought it was just for the guy for the GMT. I'm sorry. I'm so confused. I'm no, you're crazy. good. Just send me the wire info right now and I'll do it. My yeah. pleasure talking to you again. Send me a label right now. Send me all the information, certificate, and all that stuff. I'll give him the yeah. watch and, and we're Perfect. good. Thanks, buddy. You, you got it, my man. I have the, the guy picking up my car in front of my house. Hold up a second. That's the next guy. Darn it. Boom. This is Carlos Marceling. How can I help you? Hey, Carlos. How you doing? Good, good. Hey, I, I wanted to sell uh, you my Rolex, buddy, and uh, what would be the process for that? Which Rolex are you trying to sell? I have a Datejust, uh, Rose Gold, uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, chocolate dial. Datejust Rose Gold, you mean two-tone? Right, two-tone, yeah. Yes, but they don't make, they don't make Datejust all Rose Gold. Yeah, they don't make, they, yeah, they don't make it in gold, yeah. So, chocolate dial. Chocolate dial, 41. 41, yeah. Fluted bezel? Fluted bezel or smooth bezel? No, fluted. Fluted chocolate, two-tone oyster right. band, correct? And uh, no, it's the, the, the other. Jubilee. Five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what year on the card? 2021. That is crazy, man. I just purchased I the same watch today. <laughs> <That's scary. laughs> yeah, I could buy another one though, but I purchased it and, and if it's on January, does it look like new 2021 chocolate stick dial, fluted vessel, oyster band? I'm gonna buy it at 13,000 just because I could buy it in the chat for 13,5 to 14 for brand new. So I gotta be a little under what I could buy it in the chats, okay? Right. They went up on price now, right? Like 14 change? Yeah, everything's gone up. I don't know if it's gonna, prices are gonna maintain because it's January, it's not Christmas anymore, so. Right. Since all the years that I've been in business, January is kind of like a slow month right. because people spend all the money in Christmas. <laughs> right, right, right. But yeah. but I'm a buyer. I'm a buyer at thirteen thousand dollars. Okay. And this is uh, the Jubilee, Jubilee bracelet. Jubilee bracelet, the chocolate bracelet. stick, chocolate with the little sticks, fluted bezel, right. two tone rose right. gold and stainless with the box and card. Where are you located? I'm in Connecticut, bro. You, that's not. Can I do that? That's not a problem, my man. I would need some info no. from, uh, there's a requirement by the state of Florida when you purchase a watch. It's like kind of like a pawn shop where you have to give me your driver's license, yeah, no uh, where you work and some information there. And then I'm gonna send you a form via email that you need to fill out and you need to take it to a, a notary. And then you need to put your fingerprint and send me that with the watch back. Okay, once I receive the watch, we open the watch here. At my store, there's only 30 cameras here. I open it on the little cameras just to make sure something, everything's inside the watch. Make sure every watch is in perfect condition. Either I could wire you or send you a check. How do you know about CRM? Uh, YouTube, bro. Oh, YouTube. So you, so you know we're good. So yeah, you know, so you know we're good. I'm always watching YouTube and, and uh, Instagram. So Thank you. You have, you have a lot of good stuff in there. Good, my friend. So you, so, so you don't need a, a, a reference. You know who we are already then. No, no, I know you. I was not too too long ago on uh, Miami, but uh, you guys were in Vegas, I think. Oh, so, for the watch show. But next so time, man, come by. Yeah. yeah, 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 I will. I will, bro. So send me the information and, and let's move on. Okay, yeah. it sounds like a plan to me. I'm going to give you my cell phone number. Let's let's get it done. Thanks, take care, man. You got it, brother. And if I could take an explorer up for $10,500, so here's a, that's Dan. Hey Dan, well, nice to meet you man. Yeah, we met uh, Dan a couple weeks ago. Uh, about coming out from Louisville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we made it down. Well, through YouTube or Instagram? Yeah, YouTube. YouTube, yeah. 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 You guys got a great channel. Thank you. Great concept here. So. It's awesome. So Dad's 80th birthday. Oh, nice. Yeah, so the whole family came down. 
And I said, but we got to make a day to go. <laughs> so we just kind of snuck away. We said it's going to be a Wednesday. We're going to Wednesday. I'm talking to Charlie on Monday. So what's the best day? It doesn't matter. Yeah, no, in the afternoon, it's been crazy. Like after it's uh, midday, yes. 1 o'clock in the afternoon, it's yeah. been nonstop, really. Yeah, that's Every what he day. mentioned. So I just figured, yeah. well, we get here early as possible. We, we tried to get out of here by 6 o'clock. It hasn't been one day that we get out of here. Crazy. Well, that's a good it's thing, like right? Oh. Have you met Betty? You haven't met Betty. No, I haven't met. Let no, me no, get no, you Betty. no, 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 no. Let me get you Betty so you can give me the whole Great. Again. You guys want some Cuban coffee? Sure, man. Let's try it, yeah. The what? Yeah, I was so, trying to explain that to her. I said, yeah, I guess you can't really explain what Cuban coffee is. You have to. Yeah, you know, I'm used to like. I mean, it's espresso, not right? really Cuban yeah. coffee, but whatever. I guess when yeah. Cubans are drinking it, they call it Cuban coffee, which, <laughs> which like literally makes no sense whatsoever. Thank you but, much. There you go. Thanks. So Charlie was the one that started this trend. I forgot. It's one of the first episodes. That he called it. What was it? That he called it a Cuban crack or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why nobody's addicted to math down in Miami because exactly. they're Cuban know, coffee, yeah. right? Yeah. And I was trying to get him to explain the whole NFT thing. He goes, man, I can't. I said, I was telling Jenny, I was like, fans nobody, got these nobody screens can. on. It's almost like you have a virtual world existing on top of a physical world. You know, and most people can't see it and are missing it, you know? But yeah. this thing is going like a million miles an hour and it's gonna just revolutionize everything. It, I mean, it is doing it as we speak. Right. You know, everything is changing. I think where you're gonna see a lot of the advancements is in AR, which is augmented reality, which is maybe where you wear the clear glasses so it's not so you know, obtrusive, yeah. and then you can actually see your world and lay it on top of your world will be another reality. Huge, 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 huge. Wow, that's amazing. Hi, he's not coming. Hi, nice he's not coming. How are you? Mike Castellano. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is my friend, Jenny. Nice to meet you. I said, I, I love your name. Okay. That's your daughter's name, right? Yeah, 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 I told her, yeah. yeah. That's why. Yeah. I'm telling her all this stuff the last couple of days, and she's probably thinking, you know way too much about this channel, this YouTube channel, you know? Like, what are you doing with all your time? Or spare time, right? Yeah. Now you know. She's always like, you going to come watch this? I'm like, I'm watching YouTube, I'm watching CRM. Yeah. Hold on, I got four episodes to catch up on. Then I'll be in there. Then I go in there and she's asleep. You, know? you so, met Charlie, right? You already met Charlie. No, I told you oh, on Monday. Come on. Well, I'm coming down from Louisville, Castellano. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you, man. From, where'd you say? Louisville, Kentucky. Nice, man. Yeah. Nice. I want to go check it out. My, my stepdad, uh, went to, where was it, the Kentucky Derby not so long ago? And he was like, you guys should get a CRM barrel. Listen, like, if you guys want to go to Derby, I'm going to say this hopefully on video. <laughs> I've got a big connect with the president. I okay. trained the president of Churchill Downs. That would right? be awesome, man. So be awesome. if you guys come in advance, you have to let me know, and then My, we can make it happen. Like Thank you, CRM. So what size was it? Large? Triple XL. No, large. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this month, no, this week, I'm gonna make a record on sales and I'm gonna beat Charlie the first week what he made in one month. But come on, see what I got today. My boy Cushion. Yes, sir. The deal that we're having here right now. Hey, hey, best wait, in business, I, best in business right here. Let's see. We're doing this trade. He got me this 5711. Watch got this container. He made 100 G, so he's doing the right thing now. Making a bigger investment, so make a big profit. That's the way you do it. You make a hundred thousand on a watch, and then you buy another watch that's about to get discontinued and make another hundred thousand once again. That's a smart buying right here. So we trading this right here for this fifty nine eighty on a strap and a fifty nine eighty on a bracelet, and he's trading in these two pieces right here and some money on top. Buy paddocks, better than Richard Mayo as an investment, so do stuff, my brother. Oh, once right. again, thank you love, again for your patience. Okay. Let me just finish icing this and, uh, and it's all good. Where are you guys from? France, but we live in Switzerland. Uh, I know how to speak French. Oh, yeah, you speak French. Como tal le gusto? Yeah. Come here. No. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. How do you know about us? Oh, we do. Walking by. Yeah. That's actually the 2%. No one walks in here and came to my store. You see the watches are facing inside. Yes. Everything we do is through social media, Instagram and YouTube. It's a family outfit. Family business. It's crazy, <laughs> but if you have any questions, let me know, my friend, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. So this always happens to me. The minute I sell a watch, it will discontinue and then the price goes up. I don't get to make that tons of money, but this beauty right here, 
it was sold for 145. I can't replace it for that amount. 145 right here. CIM Jewelers, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Um, I want to sell my watch and I need a price code. You need a price code and what's the watch that you have? I have a Rolex uh, OP41 Cartridge Blue. Ah, uh, the blue. Tiffany Blue. And how much are you asking? I have no idea how much I, I should be asking, but um, what is your top dollar? Let, let, me, let me explain to you something, my friend. I'd had one here the two weeks ago after the Tiffany, whatever uh, it called the Phillips uh, auction that they did for charity, the prices went crazy in the market. I have one here that was sitting here for eight months and didn't sell for 20,000. I sold it for 18,000. Now I got many offers of people selling it for 30,000. I'm not a buyer at that crazy price right now because I don't see that watch gaining any more value. So. You know, it's gotta be a realistic price for me. I know the prices are crazy out there, but I'm not excited to buy that watch now at, his, at the limit high because I know it's gonna go down. Like I said, I have multiple people selling it to me for 30,000, I'm not a buyer. Okay, and how much would you get it? Like I said, I sold mine for 18. You know, I could have sold it maybe for 25,000, but I don't know, man. I don't know, I'm skeptical about that watch, man. I really am, oh. man. All right, thank you, Carlos. Thank you, my friend. Good luck. Bye. There you go. I'm gonna talk about something today that I feel like is a very important topic, and it's discussing the differences between a sports model Rolex and a dress model Rolex. While you might think that all Rolexes are dressy watches, they do have, and they do serve a purpose on each one of them. So I brought today the Submariner in yellow gold, I hear it's reference number, is this a 41 or 40? It's a 40. So reference number 11618. And then here I brought a date 40, which is reference number 228235. Both of these Rolex models are very important models in the Rolex lineup. These watches have a very important place in the lineage and history of the brand. This is not the same Submariner you would have seen 50 years ago, and this is not the same Day Day you would have seen 50 years ago. They both still share very, very common features of the original models. We're gonna start with this Rolex Submariner. It's a 11618. It's a 40 millimeter blue dial. It actually has a sunburst blue dial there in the yellow gold. So some notable features on these Rolex sports models, the bezels, features some sort of function versus just aesthetics. Most of them across the model line do feature these crown guards here. And that's to protect the crown when you're doing certain activities. The Oyster bracelet is a little bit more popular across the sports model line. And while you do have some dress models with the Oyster bracelet, it's more common to see them on the sports models. I think it's a, it's a newer thing. You did see it back in the days with the Jubilees on the GMTs, but I think that Rolex is like, doing like a retro in a way and bringing these different bracelets like the Jubilee bracelet on to the sports model as well. The features of the bezel. In most cases on sports model watches, the bezels have a feature to them, which that's something very important about the sports models watches. The bracelets, they tend to feature a safety clasp, which I think is a very important feature of the sports models, which is this function right here. And this is to assist in the security of your watch so you don't lose your watch while doing certain activities. Now, something special, and this is unique to some mariners, and I believe sea dwellers have a very similar system. It's not exactly the same, but very similar, is a glide lock clasp. So a glide lock clasp here, you simply pull it out, and it extends, and you can slide and adjust the watch on the fly. The reason for this is so divers, when you wear your wetsuit, you extend it here, and boom, your watch just got larger, and you can wear it over your wetsuit. While yes, this is a yellow gold watch, and no, you wouldn't use it to play basketball or play baseball or any sports like that. It is still considered a sports model watch. You can use this watch and I think it is a perfect watch to go on the boat with, to be out on the water with. Now, something like this day date here. The reason that if you're a person who's active and you like to go on the boat, it's important to have a sports model instead of a dress model is that safety clasp. If you wear a day date and let's say you clip it on something, something like a fabric, or your pants or the edge of the boat or something clips it 
it opens. If you have your hand in a downward position, your watch can easily come off your wrist. Now in the case of a sports model, such as a Submariner, you really have to put something in here under this crown to lift it up. And even if you do, you still have to perfectly put something in the middle here. It's not gonna accidentally bump open. I've rarely, rarely, rarely seen a sports model pop open. In that case, the times that I have seen them pop open has been because the person's had it way too tight. And it's typically been with the older style, not these newer style class. The dress models are exactly for what they sound like for dressy. The benefits of having a dress model, especially like from a Rolex, the elegance, how practical they are when you're wearing a dress shirt. So reasons that I love this day day and why it's an important watch and why it's always been such an iconic watch in the Rolex lineup, it's very simple. Just look at it on the wrist. The single hidden clasp, the uniform bracelet here. One of my favorite parts about the President and I think is what is a major selling point of this watch is the fact that it has a hidden clasp and that uniform bracelet. It looks like one solid band all the way across that you don't see that clasp on it. The profile, the way it sits on your wrist here is very slim compared to the bulkiness of the Samaritan. The watches, they do serve their purposes and they do have two completely different selling points. If I had to choose one of these two, obviously Samaritans are my favorite. I've always loved presidents. I think they look super elegant on the wrist. I think they're very nice. However, the Rolex Submariner is just a very, very versatile watch. I feel like you can wear this with a suit, you can wear this to a dinner, but you can also wear it on your yacht, on your boat to go fishing. Either option is good, and if you can afford both of them, I would definitely say get both. Very good topic that I have a lot of clients come into and ask me about, and whether to go with, maybe not in the gold models, but for like an entry level watch, whether you go with Datejust or Stainless Slope. Nine times out of ten, I recommend the Stanley Submariner, unless you just want a little bit of flashiness to it. Carlos speaking, how can I help you? Hey Carlos, how are you man? Good, good, how about yourself? I'm good, thank you. I'm calling you because I, I want I want your opinion on what you think um, is the best investment. Not so much about the look, but something that is, is only going to go up in value and I don't have to work, really worry about it you know, fluctuating in price too much. That's just a good investment. Um, anywhere uh, maximum, my, my budget would be 20 dollars And you trust my word? Yes, I trust your word. <laughs> <laughs> no, <awesome. laughs> this would be my second watch. I had a, a little uh, Rolex um, Datejust that I got one time years ago. Okay. Um, but I, I don't really consider that a watch. It was like, you know, one of those small little cheap Rolexes. I, I want like a real Rolex. Well, that that real was best. your first watch you so bought, I right? Consider... The other watch that you don't consider? Yes. Well, that should be considered your best watch because that's the first watch you bought with a lot of work and a lot of effort. So that's the only watch you shouldn't ever sell. So keep that one as a memory. Trust me. I have one watch only that I don't sell. Well, I already sold that one. Oh, shit. Your dad didn't give it to you, no? It definitely can be a gold watch unless you want to buy an old watch that I don't recommend. And like another 36, but I don't recommend that for you to buy. You in Miami, right? You go to the water a lot or no? Are you no, I'm from Miami, but I don't, I don't, I, I don't have money to be on the boats like that. I have a business. Um, I'm a business owner, and I, I work a lot. I don't really have time for all of what, that right now. How do you dress in a daily? Casual? You are dressy? Or you are sporty? I like, I like to go casual when I, when I like to go out. You know, sneakers, nice, nice pants. Definitely, I will get a Submariner, man, and it's gonna be under the twenty. You know, I, I definitely, you know, I, a Submariner. I will have in my collection. And I would do stainless steel. I don't like two-tone watches. It's just my opinion. And that watch will go up in value. I would try to get, you know, a sea dweller with the red mark. Marking is my favorite one. I have to find out how much I'm going for. Those are going to be around 17. Or you could do a Sumaner for around a 40 millimeter, around 14 to 15,000. I would do a sports model better, man. You could do a Batman for around 20,000. Um, what, you here in Miami, why don't you come by and try some stuff, man? You don't gotta, you know, don't buy nothing, but come by, see some stuff, try to see your wrist size, what it looks like, and and then we'll go from there. I'll definitely, I'll definitely guide you through a sport model because you're gonna make money on that or at least uh, maintain the value of your watch. So that's, a, that's why I like to go with the hottest model, like sports model like uh, Submariner, you know, GMTs, because they pretend to hold the value. Where, where are you? It, man, I just, I just don't want to. I, I, I could go today, but I just don't want to waste your time because I, I'm not. How are you going to waste my time, my brother? It's never a waste of time. 
come, I'll show you the watch. You don't have to buy nothing. Just have a feeling, try some watches, you get an idea. If you see something that you like, you buy it. If you don't, you plan for the future. You don't have to buy nothing. You're not wasting my time. This is part of my job. I love what I do. All right, man, I'm, I'm gonna stop by. Uh, my name is Alberto. Alberto, try to come before five, okay? He, he's a client of mine, right? He had a watch and he was gonna sell it to a guy who's probably like a jeweler or something and his friend, right? And they, they, he gave him the watch or he was gonna get the watch to the guy. When he gave the watch to the guy, they pulled out a gun on him and they took the watch from him. He's never followed a police report because he's being scared. Can he still do a police report? How long was that? He had the proof on the September, messages and all that stuff. Uh, that was September 7th. I was trying to go about it other ways and have like- Do you have the messages with them? Well, I take you the watch, give me the money, all that shit. You have proof of all yeah, of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they're like, oh, you'll get the money, you'll get the money, and then just like block phone number. I tried to have like, and the owner keeping so they all go to those places, hit them up and contact them, but that never and never that happened. Never went anywhere because they didn't want to. And he was scared, so he didn't want to do it. But I told him, you got to do a police report. That's a big case. Yeah. Two hundred thirty thousand, and they're just. Can like, he go to the police station and do it or not? And if he has proof of the message, you can try walking in there and requesting a, mm -hmm. a robbery detective. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm not sure because I sold the lead. Right. It's the late because it's like I was trying to figure out a different route, and you know there was a lot of like threats thrown around, like you do this, you do that, blah 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 blah. Like I was not like I had insurance on it either, so it's not like I could file like a order. Or anything. I know somebody. Yeah. There's a f big dog. Uh huh. He's a lawyer. Okay. Yeah. He was the chief of prosecutors. I would go and talk to him and explain to him what's going on and what happened. Call him up and tell him, look, I was spoken to Carlos. This happened to me. Yeah. You know, I was afraid because I was threatened, whatever, whatever. And I, how, do, how would I go about it? He told me you yeah. could uh, lead me to it. And I warranty my watches one year of the movement. So any watch that I buy here in Florida from any private, we do we do uh, a requirement by the state of Florida. It's called leaks online, where our watch goes into a database with the police just to make sure that the watch is legit. And then it goes to quality control, which is me. I look at the watch, I see the movement, I put it on a machine just to make sure everything is working perfect. We give it to our watchmaker, he inspects the watch, make sure it has no scratches and no dings, and then we sell it. And then we provide 100% money back guarantee. If you receive the watch and you're not happy, you put it back in the box, you send it, I refund your money 100%. So you don't have nothing to worry about. I love it, okay, sounds good. Okay, first thing that I need to do, where's the wire coming from? It will be coming from California from, uh, from my bank. Personal account or business account? Um, it, can I ask you a question? Is there any difference as far as any advantage or disadvantage from coming from personal versus business? Yes, personal, personal, 24 hours after the clears, I'll ship to you. Business, I gotta hold the merchandise for 10 days. Got you, so it'll be, it would be, a dead, I, we would do it personal then, is what we would do. Once the funds clear, I ship the watch to you, okay? Sounds good, perfect, yeah, thank you, Carlos. Thank you, my friend, thank you for calling. Listen, make sure you give me that sales tax. No, I, got you, I, got I don't want Betty on my ass. I don't, Betty, I don't will, want Betty, I, I, Betty will get on my ass and then I have to get on your ass. Please, man, ass. bring me all the paperwork. All right, I love you. Man, Enjoy man, your man. beautiful two time yes. pieces. Please give me a review on Google. Have you done that ever? I have. Oh, you got it. That's uh, your name again? That's Paul. Carlos, Carlos, see, I am my brother. Send me a text there with the patient. Tell me, Carlos, I spoke to you. This is what we want. Because if it's not, man, I get too many messages, my brother. And I'll help you. We'll make something happen, okay? Where are you located, you said? I'm in Wilmington, North Carolina, but I'm from Miami originally. Wilmington, North Carolina. What the hell are you doing over there, man? <laughs> <laughs> making money, bro. Making money. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Do what you gotta do, man. Make that money. Come spend it here at a CRM. That's the best you could do. Invest, right, invest, invest, invest. No, text me, man. I got you. I'll help you in whatever you need, okay?
So he's trading a, a few Mercedes Benz to jump on a Ferrari. I would do that. I would. I wouldn't even say Ferrari. I would say like Rolls Royce. No, Paddock is a Ferrari, man. Ferrari is a sports car. Paddock. It's Paddock the is best a luxury car. Man. This is a fucking dream watch, man. That's a luxury watch, not a sports watch. That's, that's a, a dream watch, a dream. and that's an investment this piece. That right now you think, oh, $3,000 more, $3,000 less, but you're gonna make a big chunk the minute that thing is get discontinued. Sure. I guarantee it. That's an investment piece. You will never make that amount of money you're gonna make with those watches than with all these sitting. You know, them with, with, uh, and you only have one arm. So, how many watches are you gonna buy? So many. It's like having. Kind of kind of the reason I'm trading them all. Good, I would do that. I would do that. <laughs> it's it's trade on. I would do it's that. Solid, yeah. Trading Just in a book. couple Honda Accords, a Mercedes C-Class, and a BMW 3 Class. Mm -hmm. Right. Don't no, get offended, there's nothing wrong with Mercedes van. Uh, okay? I'm just talking crap, guys. I'm just talking crap. Crap. Those are all beautiful. Rolex doesn't make ugly watches. A Corolla. They're amazing. They are super hot. Okay? <laughs> okay. I bought them for a reason. Cash and crypto. I like that better than wire. CC. Check. It's like the Chanel logo. We have a deal. I'm a deal maker, brother. I want to make you a deal, especially you flew up from... I came from Maine, from the Northeast. The Northeast. Yeah. Thank you to that boy right there for bringing him here. I give you two G's, I'll send it to you later. Right? <laughs> no, that, 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 that I'll buy for gold value at 90%. You know, because I'm not going to so buy a security. So I'm 14 karat with what? You know, that's that. Let me see that chain. Just because I need some money. We're going to the hard rock. I need some money. Yeah. And, you know, I got... These are your boys. Yeah. Of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You hear that? You hear this guy buying on a $150,000 paddock. He said no money. That's the best thing you could do. Walk with the paddock and no money to the casino. In the casino, chances are you're going to lose money. Believe me, I know. Here, you're going to make money. I'm just on vacation. Yes. Mark my I'm words, vacation, brother. Yeah, yeah. Listen, we're going to play this video two years from now. I'm on vacation. Or maybe a year from down. now. Mark my words, you're going to make a lot of money on that paddock. You said it was yours, homie. I thought it was mine, but it's not it's mine. It's 59. Are you Peter Parker? Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Okay, 59. That's why I thought it was a joke or something. I came from Germany. I don't understand what this is. Maybe it's next door? I don't know. No, it's 59. We got to look for that address for now and, and give it back. So... 59. Peter so, Parker is Spider-Man. Let me see how much you have in gold. What's up, start? Everything good? Okay. Well, when you see it, what do you mean? Just pop that right thing. The chronograph. Yeah, exactly. But they, they didn't do that here in the U.S. Uh -uh. Oh, I got a thousand percent. This was done in China or something. Mm -hmm. Huh? One hundred percent. But the watch is real. No, no, the, the watch is real. That's, we were looking at the wheel balance in the back. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. And the wheel balance is gold. Mm. And that confused hold on right. a second, hold on. Pretty good. Yeah, you know his business. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They make a fake watch like this. I, I need to start selling fakes. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's real. Okay. Yeah. Hey, got what some weight off your shoulders, right, bro? No, they got nah, I know. He's my man, my Yeah, 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 yeah. He did the same building back before he got his house. <laughs> but I know the diamond work, you could tell when yeah. they do it so good because they do a machine that, that it looks factory. It's just the way they do it, it's just crazy, you know? Yeah, it did look like a factory. Let me get an expert here, another expert, just to get a double opinion. Trading, I'm in. Trading all, uh, all the roles. You know? No, that's not that's not like I said, if they make a fake watch like this, bro, that's a watchmaker there, you know? Yeah. If you want to say this watch, be able to make sure everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the watch is good, brother. Because then also on the casing, it said 18K, not 750. The buttons are titanium and the case is gold. But it's one good, yeah, exactly. The case is one good, and you put on what's the, the, Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. why it has titanium yeah. and gold. Worst time to sell. Right, like this. Like the, 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 the best, the best piece of all. Give me months a night. That's a problem. That's where I walk in. No, you can't touch no metal. That's that's. Let me see. Right, that's crazy. That won't work. That's more than.
uh, one coffee one day, okay? Exactly. One coffee. I'm gonna go boxing with you and you're gonna take your frustrations out on me. That's awesome. <laughs> That's actually better. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Good luck, okay? Cardano, Ethereum, Bitcoin, like a little of everything. I can't do like all Bitcoin or do like everything. Well, not everything, it's those three things, you said. Just those three? Yeah, just those three. If I could do a third, like, card, some Cardano, some Ethereum, some Bitcoin. I don't know how it works. Because what happens is, is that I just send you an invoice, they pay processes that invoice, and they tell you, hey, pay this invoice, and you choose how you want to pay it. It's BitPay, so BitPay so uses multiple, yeah. they use multiple things, like, you can use multiple points. Yeah, I'm sure, we can, I'm sure we can figure it out. Yeah, yeah, those coins, Yesterday? Yes, you did. Yeah, I'm getting rid of the wire. I'm on my bank right now. Okay, let, let me. Um, Woody, did you tax me? Because listen, yeah, right, let me see. What is it that we're doing? GMT ceramic, and you wire me 14.5, correct? Exactly. Yep. That's 14.5, correct. I'm going to include shipping to your doorstep. If you do the wire today, the, it's going to show pending in the account today. I have to wait my brother until it clears, okay? So I'll ship the watch tomorrow. You get it the following date, okay? Okay, yeah, if you can do it for Saturday morning, that'd be awesome. Hey, I, uh, I have to be there to receive it, right? Yes, you have to. So I will do it for Saturday delivery. I'll make sure I'll make a note for Saturday delivery. One more watch sold a GMT ceramic to California. An issue with the Bitcoin account, so let's get the expert, Mr. Mr. Dan Bitcoin. Mediator, crypto Dan advisor, mediator. marketing no, guru. Listen, Wait. his name is not Dan the Crypto, it's Crypto Dan. Crypto Dan, marketing crypto guru, Dan. CRM mediator. Crypto Dan, Wait, so he could help us. Wow. We're trying to ask a transaction there, a big transaction, 150,000. Well, he's gonna do 50,000, but it's a transaction where we're selling another pack. Yesterday we sold two, 59.80 rolls, one in a strap. Today me and Charlie sold those stainless steel, but the guy's having a little issue with the uh, big pick. Can you help us out? Make this happen. Yeah, we need to make this money. I know you're busy back here <laughs> making content and making these great yeah. ideas, but we need the expertise when it comes to crypto because I don't speak that language. Every once in a while we have a problem with it, man. You click the invoice and it didn't work? There's no invoice, I can't even. So connect Coinbase account. Charlie, do it. Charlie, do it. Watch, watch this. Walk, walk, walk. 